Hello again everyone, this is Craig here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough I'm going to be showing you drone flutes, which is a fantastic collection of indigenous Central American drone flutes in the Mayan, Aztec, and Zapotec traditions. For this library, we teamed up with Renee Jenkins, who performed with six of his favorite two, three, and four chambered flutes at St. Paul's Church in San Francisco. This library is perfect for any kind of cinematic composition, video game scoring, folk music, and creative sound design. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and start checking out all the sounds and features that come within drone flutes. So for this library, we captured Renee's beautifully haunting sound in St. Paul's Church in San Francisco in three distinct microphone positions. You have close, mid, and far, and all of these offer different possibilities as far as having a really tight and close sound, so you can use your own reverbs, or adding that mid and far mic to really add that lush St. Paul's Church reverb sound to this instrument. So let's go ahead and have a listen to the close microphone positions now. Now, I want to play for you a little bit of the mid microphone positions. Now have a listen to the far microphone positions. Now the great thing about having these different microphone positions is you can blend and create your own combination. So if you want to have that close microphone position and also that really lush big reverb sound, you can do that too. And these are all that really organic lush reverb sound that we captured in the hall. So now let's have a listen to these together. This is the close and the far. Let's have a listen to the close and the mid microphone positions now. So as you can hear, by blending in those close microphone positions, you have that really intimate and dry sound, but blending in a little bit of that natural sound of the hall. So you get a really nice, beautiful combination there. So the instrument that you've been hearing in these examples is the double wooden F sharp four flute. Now let's go ahead and have a listen to some of the other articulations. I'm going to be using the mid microphone positions for these examples. And then if you want to access these articulations, you can click this drop down and see all the ones listed. So let's have a listen to some of these staccatos. And then for the double wood and F sharp floor flute, we have a legato articulation as well. And if you want to enable this, just go up here to the advanced tab and then turn on the legato. Make sure you're in the legato page and then you have a listen to this legato. We also have some other articulations like chirps, swells, and trills to really help you add those little embellishments to create some really beautiful and realistic flute lines. So let's have a listen to some of these. These are some of the swells. And then we have some trills. Now let's have a listen to the double Zapotec clay A4 flute. Staccatos. Some chirps. Swells. And trills.
Now let's have a listen to the harmony C4. Staccatos. Some chirp articulations. Some swells. And some trills. Now let's have a listen to the quad clay D5. Staccatos. Some chirps. Swells. Some trills. And then we got the triple snake F4. Staccatos. Chirps. Swells. And trills. And the last flute that I'm going to be playing for you is the Triple Zapotec Clay F4. And then we have some staccato variations for this as well. Chirps. Some swells. And trills.
And I really love all of these types of articulations because they really have this expressiveness that you can't quite get from just playing normal sustains and staccatos. So being able to utilize these within creating a whole melodic line really helps add that nice realism and emotive expression. So in the usual sound iron fashion, we've also included 20 handcrafted atmospheric soundscapes for you to use. And using these in combination with these natural organic instruments really allows you to create a whole track with just this one library. So let's go ahead and have a listen to some of these. And then if you want to take any of these instruments or ambiences and add some effects to them, you can go over here to the effects rack. You'll see that you have these different slots to where you can insert some different effects. So you have some different delays, some EQ, filter, some different amps, some flange, uh, some phaser. We have a reverb right here. So if you want to add a little bit of reverb, there's some different types of options you can choose from, from more cathedral sounds. So if you want to kind of replicate a little bit of that St. Paul's Church sound, you can do that here. And you can play around with the mix, or if you want to increase the size. You can do that too. To encapsulate the feel of live drone flutes in the hands of an expert, Renee also performed over 3,000 beautifully dynamic melodic phrases for each flute. So now let's go ahead and have a listen to a few of these. So now I want to talk to you a little bit about the user interface. So you have the sequencer right here and you can plug in different phrases. You can also choose how the direction of the phrase sequencer works. And then you have this drop down down here. You have some different drones and single phrases and different tempos. So if you want to have a session that's in 80 BPM, you can utilize this naturally. So that way it'll play back the way they were recorded. Or if you have a tempo that's a little bit different, you can sync this so that way it will play at the tempo that your session is.
And then variable allows you to shape it manually. So if you want to just kind of nudge it up a little bit, just to kind of fit within your track, you can do it like that as well. Now let's have a listen to some of these other drone flute phrases. Let's have a listen to some of these single phrases now. And then you have the mic mixer, which allows you to blend in some of those other microphone positions. So let's go ahead and turn these on and listen to how these phrases sound now. Now let's go ahead and check out the double Zapotec A4 clay flute phrases. So last but not least, I want to play for you some of the different custom effects presets that come with the library, and all of these use different features, as well as some different effects from the effects rack, and just really designed to just kind of jumpstart your creative journey. So let's go ahead and play through some of these.
All right, so that about wraps up this walkthrough for drone flutes. If you'd like to learn more about this library or check out some demos to hear it in action, make sure to go to soundiron.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on future videos like these. And until next time, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.